hi loves welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well we are back with another memory keep with me type of video and as i mentioned in my last one i really wanted to film these type of videos pretty much like real time whenever i'm filming that's when i'm gonna bust out the camera just like the hobby i don't want the filming process to be forced you know what i mean so I try to film whenever I can and whenever I'm really journaling um, so I think there's about three or four days worth of footage in this video that you'll see um, but yeah I'm gonna try to shorten it of course because otherwise it'd be like hours and hours um, but yeah, I hope you still enjoy it. Um, this part of the video, I will be doing a voiceover, but towards the end, I don't want to bore you guys, so it'll just be fast forward with some music. You can, of course, you know, pause it if you want and listen to your own music if you'd like. But anyways, in this clip that I'm sharing with you right now, I am just re-inking one of my fountain pens. Um, I really love this ink by Ferris Wheel Press. It's the Purple Jade Rabbit. It's a beautiful, obviously, jade purple color, but it has beautiful shimmers in it. And it's just really, really stunning. And it pairs well with my new fountain pen, which this is by Sailor. And it's the Shikiori Amaoto in the winter, winter rain color. And it is... Um, medium fine nib and the shimmer you know works well with it it has a good flow um i haven't experienced any clogging crossing my fingers that i do not um but so far so good it pairs well with the ink i absolutely love it um this is the second time i've re-inked it and i'm just in love i'm still using it till now and today as i'm doing this voiceover it is march 6th <laughs> so yeah um anyways i am here to pretty much now uh i guess i'm catching up for a few days here um i was behind because we had a few busy days february has been pretty busy with uh you know just life and my son has you know after school activities and i winter it's like so dreadful <laughs> i don't know if you guys have ever experienced winter blues but you know you can't really go outside and enjoy the weather because it's it's freezing and we've had so much like so much storms lately that it's it's insane but yeah winter blues so i I've been every weekend I try to do something with the boys like find activities outside of the house just so we can get out and you know just enjoy life <laughs> so it's been pretty busy and I of course haven't had much time to journal so um yeah I was trying to catch up here for a few days and so I start off with of course printing out my photos if you're new here i use the hp sprocket everything will be listed and linked down below in the description box if you're interested i always get questions and how i print my photos and yes i use the hp sprocket um i have had mine for i want to say seven years now i've had it for a very long time i've never had issues with it i had the original hp sprocket now they did come up with a new one and i've heard mixed reviews with the new ones um i don't have the new one obviously i have the original one my old one and it's perfect so i love that i do recommend it i will link it below they still you know sell it i believe but a lot of people do have the newer version i've heard mixed reviews though i can't say much about it but i do have the big version of the new one and it's it's pretty good i have used it a few times i prefer to use my smaller one just because it's just i just have it and i ha actually have a lot of uh the paper for that so yeah it's just more convenient um i don't have a whole lot of paper for the big one so um yeah but i do like the big one it prints the same um you know quality wise and whatnot so i do recommend either one i'll link them all below um but yeah i start off with the photos and i cut them up and as you see here i am you know kind of trying to see where things are gonna go i also use uh paper 
um, to add texture to my journal. They're like kind of scrapbooky type of paper. It has a lot of texture. They're very thin too. Um, I like to get the thinner, thinner ones just so it's not too much bulk in my memory keep. So yeah, that's what I'm placing right now. And I, I like using it, like I said, because it adds texture and just really adds more to your page, you know, not just using just stickers. I like having a bit of texture. And the sticker sheets that I usually use are uh, the ones from my shop, Love Charmaine. And I use them because they are usually the oopsies, so they're not like perfectly cut and stuff like that. And instead of throwing them out, I use them in my own planner. Um, so yeah, that's why I always have a ton of stickers for my memory keep I, I keep the bad ones for myself um but yeah that's pretty much all I do um I just really play around with it I do not like to use too too much because one I don't like the bulk and two I do not have the time so I get it when people you know say they don't have time to do this and that but really I feel like if you narrow down your I want to say resources but like if you narrow down your items of what you're going to use for that spread it will go much much quicker so yeah I mean I spend maybe less than 10 minutes doing this spread and I'm good to go you know it doesn't take me all hour to do it if if anything so yeah that's just like one of my tips i guess is do not overwhelm yourself with all the things like narrow down your items um kind of you know pick one sheet for the spread you know what i mean um you don't have to use all of the things um that will definitely help you with decorating and not taking forever to do it uh, but yeah oh here i'm using these are the transfer stickers or the rub-ons by Peon. I always get my items from, or like these type of items from Peon and Little Javita, either from Nico Neko, um, I'll link it below, or lately I've been getting it from Journal Land on Etsy. Um, I don't know, I just enjoy ordering from that shop on Etsy. I know there's other shops, there's a ton of them on Etsy, but I've really enjoyed getting my stuff on journal land on etsy because they always seem to have the things that i'm looking for and also it's, it's super quick like it gets here pretty fast like i don't want to say like two or three days but like definitely within a week it's here and that makes me very happy um so yeah i i don't know i guess have been really liking my services from them um my orders have always been lovely so i just continue to place my orders there um but yeah, I love these print-ons. I'm hoping to <sighs> get print-ons for my shop. But that means I have to, you know, get it from the manufacturer and all of that. So I don't know. I'm very iffy about it. But for now, you can get the, you know, clear matte stickers, which are like the transparent ones on my shop and like the white ones. So yeah, definitely check out my shop. <laughs> um, anyways, this is a different day now. And I'm just printing off more pictures as you see this is a different spread that i'm going to be working on i'm a bit behind um i think when i was filming this like two to three days maybe even four um but um yeah like usual print off the photos and just cut them up and start decorating really nothing to it you guys um if you guys have any questions feel free to leave it in the comments down below um you, i'm pretty good at responding with comments um also again check out the info box of the description in this video because everything will be listed and linked there um i'm also trying my best to write a blog post over on lovecharmaine.com um to go with my videos because i feel like you know sometimes it's easier to see photos of what i'm showing you guys and then like have a proper list of the items that i shared with photos i feel like i'm a very visual person and it kind of helps having everything in like one place nice and organized and you can see it all you know what i mean so i'm really trying my best to do more blog posts for you guys with links and photos um let me know if that's really something you guys would be interested in but for my own self like i feel like i love that so i'm trying my best to do it already and i've 
I've posted a few blog posts here and there in the past week or so, so that kind of makes me very happy. But if it's really something you guys, like, you know, would want to see from me, let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for now. Um, don't really know what else to tell you guys, but I'm just, you know, doing my thing here. Just the usual decorating. Yeah, I'm just going to leave you guys here for now and, you know, enjoy the music. <laughs>
Okay, so of course I'm gonna share with you the pages before I end this video. Also kind of an update here, I guess, of what my memory keep is looking like. I went back to this cover because I realize it's gonna get bulky and I honestly need something to keep it closed. So these covers are, you know, really what just works best for me. As you can see, it's getting pretty bulky already. And this helps a lot to keep it closed. Also, you know, um, I can also put a pen in these loops and it will help keep it closed as well. Um, versus the other cover that I have, you can't uh you can't use it, this thing like there's no way to keep it closed i guess because it's a whole different kind of cover and the pockets that it has is just like on the side it doesn't have anything in the back to hold on to this little page keeper that um hobonichi has so yeah anyways i went back to this um cover which i'm fine with because i do really love this cover and i found a different use for the other cover so anyways <laughs> with all of that said this is also from hobonichi it's the i forget what it's called but it's the butterfly one so pretty absolutely love this and yeah this is just what my pockets are looking like. Kind of a mess. I wanted this Polaroid in here somewhere. So I just kind of like shoved it here. And, and it's fine. It's fine. Um, I did keep this little pocket there. So I'm still using this page for whatever ink I'm using that week. This is kind of how I have it. And then I don't really do anything for these. So... I guess from now on, I will write down whatever is uh, whatever is in my Hobonichi weeks. So like events, birthdays, stuff like that. Um, I'm just going to quickly write it down. I can show you February. This is what that looks like. Um, for January, I played around with uh, how I kind of wanted to do my ink journal. And I decided like I really like how this looks. So I went ahead and got my ink journal if that makes sense so this was like a test but yeah for going forth it's just gonna look like this it's just kind of like jotting down um appointments and stuff like that um yeah i already have quite a bit for march and so forth so anyways um this is what january looks like uh i finished it on time and i'm pretty happy with myself to have actually finish um february as well like i'm doing really good keeping up with my memory keep um so yeah i think i have a full-on um flip for january over on instagram if you want to see that i will definitely do one for february as well but here we are in february so i believe i did these pages with you guys i don't remember but um yeah so I th here we go these are the recent pages that i've done i really like this ink this is kobe 54 goshiki yama ochre it's like a beautiful pinky red um i want to say coral but it's really leaning more towards red like just the tones are so pretty it actually reminds me of jr bon rudyank um but this one has has more i want to say more brown tones in it um it's just i like this one more to be honest like i was comparing the two because they're so similar but i feel like this one has a bit more depth and it writes way better or behaves way better um when using uh in a pen and then this is fluttering heart by ferris will press I do have coupon codes um, for three different sites now. I have one for Ferris Wheel Press, Vanessa, and also Atlas Stationaire. So all of that will be listed and linked in the info box down below if you're interested. Because, you know, you can check any of those sites to see where you think you can get a better deal at. But yeah, these are the few pages. I still have to do the 28th. Um, which I think I will do later um, and also start March because today is actually March 2nd. So 
I'm three days behind, which isn't bad. It's not bad at all for what's been happening lately. I've been so busy, but um, yeah. This one is Oyster Hour by Ferris Wool Press. One of my faves. It's just so good and like the perfect beige ink that's truly like legible. So I love that. And this is with an extra fine nib. Um, this one is with a medium fine and this one is with I think a fine nib. Yeah, a fine nib. So there you have it. That's what my page just looks like. I hope you enjoyed um, seeing me memory keep. I will definitely try to do more of these in the future. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. I'm excited to do March. I'm probably going to film an Instagram reel on how I do the title page for that like I usually do. But yeah, thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed it. Everything will be listed and linked in the info box down below if you're wondering where something is from. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much and until next time. Bye for now.